We've had an exciting day so far with tons of action from our Rocket League team. Now, Call of Duty gets to pick things up with Tespa Collegiate Cold War. The second matchup of the season about to get started. St. Clair College versus Stevens Institute of Technology. Looking forward to getting this one underway momentarily. Sorry if that it's taking so long. It's just a matter of getting everybody into the lobby. Looks like we're just about all set up. Should be an interesting one here for everybody tonight. Of course, one thing to note is that we are on a five-minute delay for um, integrity reasons. Unlike Rocket League, where everybody can see the full field, information can be held against each other in Call of Duty. So we are going to be a little bit delayed, but nothing too crazy. Start things off. We are going to get right in the game, actually. They're not going to waste any time. That's what I like to see. We're going to get right into it. St. Clair versus Stevens. Starting lineup for St. Clair, a.k.a. Lavelle, the player and coach. We also have Priestley. We have Sauce. And we have Swizz. On the side of Stevens Institute of Technology, we have Brazen Bike. We have... SKG Bob, number two Ginger, and Bricks. Starting things out on hard points. So, for those who are not aware, this is going to be basically this little arrow, this little section that's highlighted around where we do see Sauce popping off, holding this point. The more he hangs on to this point, the more points St. Clair is going to get in this situation. Obviously, Stevens going to be looking to contest this as soon as possible. And Sauce making this look easy to start things off with. Nicely done. Let's find Bop as well. And then these points, they only last for about a minute. They will eventually switch over and move to a new location. See Brazen Bike getting taken off as well. Sauce is just in a perfect prime position here to get as much as much points as possible. And on the player side of things, we don't necessarily get to see it, but they'll know where the next hard fight is going to be. So they can actually opt to get away from the point or, or the main point that's being taken just to make sure that they can hold ground on this next one as we see both Priestley and Swizz currently defending the best they can here on this point, doing a fantastic job so far, making it look easy so far, to be completely honest with you. You have Swizz, who's just on the point, just constantly gathering points, hanging on to as much as possible. And everybody else is just having a field day, apparently, with this Stevens Institute Technology team going all the way to the opposite side. Now it's going to get a little bit busy here for Swizz. He is going to eventually be taken out, but by the time he is done, that capture point has like five seconds left. You're going to get barely any points. First to 100 or 250 points win, of course. And there we have it. Sure enough, new point. And St. Clair already rotated around. Priestley through the smoke, making it happen. Sauce getting on the board as well. Really just holding down this spot nicely. Priestley gets himself another. And just back and forth. St. Clair even getting a little aggressive there, Sauce. But I <laughs> like the attempt. Nonetheless, going to be going down here this time. Swizz and Priestley on point. Contested. Not going to be contested for very long. Just completely wiping the floor with Steven's faces here, apparently, as of this moment. Sauce even going to just start moving into the next building as well. Opens fire. Is finally going to be taken down by Bop, but still on point. Swizz, as we see in the scoreboard above, the OBJ, the objective... How long have they been on that objective? And you see Swizz, the main person for St. Clair, to just hang on to this point as long as possible. Get the points while everybody else from St. Clair just starts popping off with their gun skill. And sure enough, they lose the point. Doesn't even matter. The next hard point is available. Going to get picked up real quick by Sauce. Trophy system's in play too, so you just can't get grenaded out of the area. And... Swiss find himself another as well. This is an extremely tough situation here for Stevens. They've not been in position for any of these transferable points. Normally, from what I see, like you might be going down in a point having a hard time. But you just look for where the next point is going to be, and you just start aiming for that instead. But Stevens hasn't even been necessarily on top of that. It feels like any time they try to move anywhere, they've been getting killed out. That being said, number two Ginger looking to try and get something started. But just as quickly as it gets started, it gets completely shut down. And you can see, like, most of St. Clair, now that this point is down to, like, less than a quarter, they're 
instantly moving over. Lavelle's already at the next site. Ready to go. Swizz taking down Bricks as well. And it's just been clean right now here for the Sinclair squad. Absolutely brutal showing here for Hardpoint. Of course, one of the beauties of Call of Duty competitive is that there's different types of game modes that they can play on. Hardpoint just being one of them. But normally, you do not see a hardpoint this dominant. It is beautiful right now here for St. Clair. Everybody popping off. Katie's are insane. Lavelle's always the first one. You see him and Priestley usually being the ones who's maybe a little bit uh, off the beaten path trying to make a play. But actually, Brazen Bike is going to be trying to make something happen. But he is going to go down. Nobody here to reinforce as well. Swizz forced to pull out the pistol, and sure enough, now that they get the opportunity, they are going to start hanging on to this point. But again, 10 seconds left on this point. There's almost no point to even go there. We do see Lavelle nice and close as well. Actually does get taken down, however. Very nice. But Swizz going to get one and, and instead start switching over to this next hard point where we have Sauce already ready and waiting as well as Steven's squad start moving forward. That was actually a good breach from them. They could be able to get themselves some some sort of a contain here and they're finally able to get onto one of these hard points early good timing too considering that uh st Clair was right around the border from uh securing themselves a quick win here in this crossroads hard point St. Clair do eventually breach through that being said, though. So they're going to be able to get as much as possible. I don't think they'll be able to win off of this. Not quite sure how much points there's still left on this. They very well may be able to do so. And sure enough, Sway is going to be able to hold them off. And that is actually going to be enough. So St. Clair College going to take this hard point in extremely convincing fashion. Solid job from everybody. Everyone playing their roles properly we do see sauce getting themselves the best play with that quick elimination well that sure start things off rather quick and rather simply here for st Clair. from what i understand they had a match last night as well in the Tespa Collegiate Cold War, and it sounded like it kind of went similar to what we saw in this first game, where our Saints just seem to be on that next level. And it does appear that as much as this is a brand new Call of Duty, there is still definitely some, uh, some bugs in terms of getting lobbies and such set up. So, now that was a pretty quick one. But we'll get back into game number two. Which map will we be going to, actually? Let's double check, why don't we? Game number two is going to be Search and Destroy on Checkmate. So something a little bit more slower paced. Something a little bit more familiar to some of us who may be a little bit newer to Call of Duty. The classic attack and defense style. And on Checkmate, it will be an odd one, if I recall correctly. This is the one where there's the plain dead center in the middle of the warehouse. So we'll have to see how this turns up. Going to quickly get all set up here in the lobby, and we'll get ready for game number two. <laughs> 